It's hard to believe, but students are already halfway through the first week of the school year. That's right, and many have enjoyed several meals from the lunch line. Now, while they chow down, we were wondering if they've actually noticed how much healthier their meals are. KAG's HD News reporter Tashar Parker caught up with the lunch team at College Station ISD. She shows us how they're serving up some healthier choices as part of a nationwide initiative. Fresh fruit and several options to choose from. The school lunch menu looks a lot different than it did several years ago. By doing it in small increments, we hope that the students do not notice quite as much that the food is, is getting healthier. Healthier meals are part of the 2010 Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act, which continues to improve nutrition standards in schools. The 2010 Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act really changed a lot about the National School Lunch Program. So we have had a new regulation go into effect almost every year since then. This year's regulations are all about snacks, grains, and sodium. It addresses the food that's in the vending machine, uh, any school stores, as well as any fundraising that goes on in the school building during the school day. And more changes on the menu is the sodium content. Last year, these fries were 300 milligrams. This year, they're only 159 milligrams, compared to a restaurant that can have fries as much as 360 milligrams per serving. We are now serving all whole grain items. We've reduced the calories and we've reduced the amount of sodium in foods. All schools across the U.S. are required to participate in this program unless their current state and school already have stronger standards in place. We have a few other items that are on our menu that we will not be able to sell a la carte, unfortunately. She says College Station ISD is working hard to reduce those items as much as they can. In College Station, Tashara Parker, KX HD News. All U.S. schools have one year to make the smart snacks and school nutrition changes. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll show you why exposing a child to healthy food early on could lead to the life of a healthier food choices.